myself put in a drawer I hope everything was fixed by 24 I thought that this year I'd be covering slowly But now I'm fully thinking that this world is still me I thought I wrote this last week Am I still the same? No, this can't be last week Am I still the same? Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlogs. It's officially fall in Miami. It is, let me see how hot it is. Well, it's 74. Sounds like it's pretty warm, but it feels like fall. Like it's that fall, like crisp, kind of cool air. So it feels so nice outside. It's not as humid as it normally would be, so it feels much cooler. And hence the hoodie, otherwise I would be drenched in sweat. I'm about to get ready because we're gonna go on another walk. We went on a walk this morning, as you guys saw, it is Saturday, so we like to do our walks with the dog, La and I, and just drinking our coffee and enjoying nature. So we went on a little walk and I got back. I cooked, cleaned this morning, as you guys saw, that pretty much took a good chunk of my morning. I pretty much worked since we got back and i was on my laptop i have so much stuff to do so i've been checking things off my to-do list and now i'm getting ready but first things first i feel like i need another coffee so i think i'm gonna go make another coffee round two of the day and then i'm gonna do super easy quick makeup and get ready i'm wearing my leggings and my hoodie so i'm thinking of changing into something that makes me feel more put together saw you walking in the street Sunday, you with flowers in your hand, you were dancing with your headphones on, didn't care Everyone was watching you were moving in the beat, cause it's swerving in the street just to get a glimpse of you. You were posing for them, yeah, you were striding for them, cause I know just what you do. So if I never told you, baby, you should know I'm gone. Okay, I just finished getting ready.
ready and I got dressed. I'm literally just wearing a big t-shirt and my vinyl pants. Probably gonna wear like my sandals because it's still like warm outside and I don't wanna sweat too much. When I was unpacking for my Italy trip, I had this idea that I should show you guys some of the things I bring that are travel size and that I carry and bring with me when I travel pretty much. Um, I love travel sized anything. Like I try to get my favorite beauty products that I wanna have with me when I travel in a travel size or just in a smaller size if possible than like the full size versions. Um, and throughout the years, I've just kind of found my go-tos, but it always changes because brands will like release different size products and just different products I fall in love with pretty much. But I bring like at least this Louis travel case and then I have, depending on where I'm going and how many products I need, I'll either just use this one and bring all my skincare and makeup and beauty stuff in here, or I might need two for like my hair stuff, if I'm gonna do my hair there, or if I'm just gonna wear it up the whole time, or not wash it. If I'm going only for a few days and I'm not washing it there, then I'm not bringing a lot of my hair products. So pretty much I usually always go with this uh, carry bag. So I have a lot of like the products that I love using at home, and then some products that I just love bringing with me, depending on if I'm going somewhere warm or cold. I literally just have so much stuff, you guys. Like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> And I have more back stock. Like literally when I travel with my friends or even with Lyle, I'm like, okay, what do you need me to bring? Because I got you, I'll bring whatever. Um, I have so much stuff. And obviously I go through this and get rid of like items that are old and I haven't used, used yet or used through it. I'll make sure it's like fresh products. Uh, but I just have so many products in here. I love Dr. Barbara Sturm's um, cleanser. I have the full size version here and I bring in these little guys with me as well i also love this cleanser from clarins it's the gentle renewing cleansing mousse it's really really good some other products that i like is whoa elemis um this is the marine cleanser love this i am currently using this at home but i'm so glad i have the travel size too it's the cleansing balm this is really really good for removing makeup like really really good and it doesn't irritate it's super gentle more of the dr barbara sturm i love the glow drops like love love this product it gives you a really nice like fresh glowy healthy look the enzyme cleanser is also really good let's see um amar i never know how to say this brand but i've been using it for years amaro vita this is a thermal cleansing balm this actually feels like warm and i wouldn't say hot but like warmer on your skin it's so good it feels amazing on your skin and it cleanses really well without drying your skin have more from this brand suzanne kaufman this is the glow mask I'll throw in a lot of masks in here because sometimes I like to do them when I'm traveling. More of the Susan Kaufman, this is the cleansing gel, the body oil, I'll throw in like body products in here too. So pretty much a lot of that stuff. The Osea Mist, I've gone through so many of these. Full size and travel size, love these mists. They also have like a pink one that's like a vitamin mist, it's really good too. Um, the Laneige Lip Balm Classic, really good. Oh, Dr. Babor Collagen Serum, and the list goes on and on. I just wanted to show you some of these products. I love travel size anything or just like mini products of things. I think they're also just so cute. And I like that they take up such minimal space because beauty products honestly weigh so much and they take up so much space. If I brought like the full size versions of everything, I wouldn't be able to travel. Like my suitcase would be overweight. So speaking of small travel friendly stuff, a big shout out to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Can't wait to show you guys. I'm sure you're all familiar with Scentbird. Here's five fragrances that I have from Scentbird. It's just so easy to bring perfumes with you as well because a lot of times you forget that perfumes just weigh so much and they're always too big so I always have to check them and I'm always terrified that they're going to break because they're glass most of them are always glass and i'm terrified they're gonna break in my suitcase and ruin everything in there if you guys are not familiar with scentbird it's a fragrance subscription service and they have over 600 brands that you guys can try out they have some of the biggest brands and smaller brands you name it um versace gucci they have it all and i brought some of them with me on my trip to italy i really love how easy these are to pack and that you get the original scent that you might love and have already been using at home so you get the little 30 day supply size 
or just try brand new scents out and you can rotate every month and try out different scents. It's a really flexible subscription service. You can skip months, there's no penalties. The packaging is actually really cool and it kind of prevents it from spilling if you're traveling or if it's in your purse or in your beach bag, whatever. So you just twist it and then you pull this out from the top and it's like this. This is kind of how you can see what fragrance it is, but usually I just go like this and I just spray it. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I picked out five fragrances and the first one is the Versace Yellow Diamond that I just sprayed on me. It kind of has, I'm not the best at describing fragrances at all, but this one is a very sweet, tropical-like smell and I feel like it has like citrusy undertones. The next one is one of my all-time favorites. It's the Gucci Guilty. I love this scent. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite scents, you guys. I think, I don't know if I was in like high school or college, but Gucci Guilty was like my all-time favorite. All the fragrances that you get also come with little cards, so it kind of helps you describe the fragrance. So I'm just gonna let you know what it says. Vanilla, blackcurrant, pink pepper, jasmine, and lilac. It's exotic and has a creamy vanilla spicy scent. They're on point, that's exactly what it is. See, I can never describe it, but when I read it, I'm like, that's what it is. Next is the Anna Sui Sky. Love this one, very like sweet and fruity. So this, yep, juicy pear, lily, and airy popcorn. Oh, interesting. It says, the sky is the limit. There's airy popcorn in here. Very interesting. To me, it just smells like grapes. But you know what, also the scents are a little bit different once they touch your skin and your body just because it mixes with your natural like body smell. Next we have Oscar De La Renta Alibi. It smells so good. And this is a scent I've actually never tried. So this is another reason why I like Scentbird. You can try out different scents and it's also a great gift for the holidays actually. And then we have Rag and Bones Manoy. Hmm, this feels like a men's cologne. I really, really like this one as well. This has a touch of vanilla, a solar musk, juicy pear, Frankie Pani, and then orange blossom petals. The Frankie Pani is like a flower if that helps you figure it out because I've never even heard of that word. It smells really nice, but it's not my favorite, I would say. Um, it's just not my cup of tea when it comes to fragrance and how I like to smell, but it's really, really nice. I could see like my mom wearing this. And she would love it. Yeah, this is like a scent from my mom. Anyways, let me rate them. So I feel like Gucci Guilty is always my number one. Oscar De La Renta Alibi, Versace Yellow Diamond, Anna Sui Sky, and then Rag and Bone, Manoy. Manoy. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will have everything linked in the description for you guys. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I hope this was helpful and now I'm gonna finish my coffee and get ready to go on our little walk with Lau. I'm bringing a little sweater because I just walked out on the balcony and it's actually really cold outside. <laughs> so, I mean, it's Miami cold, but it's kind of like chilly. So I'm bringing a little sweater. I was debating on if I should wear boots or not or like closed toed shoes, but then I'm like, what if I just start getting really hot because we're actually walking. So I'm like, no, I'm just gonna stick to my sandals and we're bringing Princey with us. Lau's outfit. Oh, babe. So I had Lau smell the scents on me. You guys remember I had it like right here and right here and right here, right here and right here, I think, if I did that right. Babe, which ones did you pick? This one and this one. Okay, so <laughs> hey, I think if I'm right, this was, well, this was definitely Gucci Guilty, so my favorite scent ever. So you picked that right. And then I, he picked the one down here, which I think was the Rag and Bone, which I said was like my mom's scent. So interesting. <laughs>
walk and I'm about to make Prince's food, his dinner. He's on farmer's dog, so that's what his dinner is tonight. We got the chicken recipe for Prince. It's so cute. So I'm just giving him his portion. 7.48, it's still early, but I have a lot of work to get done. And we don't really have plans for the evening. We've kind of been laying low after our Italy trip just because we did so much there and spent so much money. So we gotta chill for a sec. Oh my God, this food is like, it's so good for him, but it smells repulsive. Like, Lyle's tried it before. He's always like, if I can't eat my dog's food, my dog shouldn't be eating it. And I'm all for that, but I'm not, I know I can eat this food and probably survive off of it. Like, I understand that part, but I'm not trying this. No way. But I love how wholesome it is for him. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's so yummy. He's got all his meat and veggies in here. This is what it looks like. And like I said, this is the chicken recipe. And it has like, I don't know, I think broccoli and spinach in there maybe? I have to read the recipe, I'm not sure, but it's all like freshly made for him. And then we freeze it and then we thaw it out a couple days before he's gonna have it. Over here working and cuddling with Prince and watching Netflix and La had to leave to go do some work but he just texted me hope you're like your little snack while you work with a heart emoji and downstairs called me that I have a delivery so let's go see what he sent all right we got a little food delivery Oh my gosh, is it a crepe? <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Oh my gosh, I love that. I fucking love crepes. Yes, with Nutella. Oh my god, this looks so good. 